Okay, this is quite a detailed problem. Uh, it'll take a while. You might want to pause the video and take some notes uh, as you want to go through it. Uh, we're given this line uh, f of x equals 9x plus 5, which is, is a linear function, and asked to find the limit of a Riemann sum to estimate the area. Well, no, actually, as n approaches infinity, we're going to find the exact area under this line from 0 to 2. This picture depicts four rectangles for that area. Uh, if I go to Desmos real quick and show you where I got that graph, this n is the number of rectangles. And I just wanted you to see as the number of rectangles gets larger and larger, we're getting closer and closer to the true area under the curve. Let me see if I can get rid of these. Uh, where they? Oh, yeah, there we go. So that's why we're letting n approach infinity. There's 46 rectangles. As we get closer and closer to a infinity, we're getting closer and closer to the true area under the curve. I'll stop sharing now, but I want you to get that idea. And the truth is, this area under this curve doesn't need calculus because that shape is a trapezoid. And the area of a trapezoid is one half the height times the sum of the two bases. So if you picture this as a trapezoid right here, The 5 and the 23 are the bases. Where did they come from? They came by putting 0 into the function and putting 2 into the function. And the base is 2. Okay, so the area is 28, but we want to do it with Riemann sum so you get the idea. Here's what we're trying to do. This is a formula for the sum of n of these rectangles, where this is the height of the rectangle. We're putting x sub k into the function to get this height and we're multiplying it by delta x this width to get the area of the first rectangle there's the first rectangle second rectangle the third rectangle and the fourth rectangle so if we only have four rectangles we're not going to really be close to the true area but it'll be an estimate so i'm not going to go through these one at a time i'll just take you through the idea uh, of how we would evaluate this Riemann, limit of a Riemann sum as n approaches infinity for this particular function on the interval from 0 to 2. So delta x is, we're going to divide this interval from 0 to 2 into n equal rectangles, uh, n rectangles of equal width down here. And so the Length of that interval is 2 minus 0, right-hand x-coordinate minus left-hand x-coordinate, divided by the number of rectangles. So there's an expression for delta x. Now to get x sub k, you can notice that x sub 1, the first right-hand endpoint, if we start at 0 and add on one of these widths, that'll be the x-coordinate of x sub 1. And to get the x sub 2, we start at 0 and add on 2 of these widths and 3 of these widths for x sub 3. So here is a formula for the kth width. 2k over n is what this simplifies to. Okay, so these are the values we're going to plug into this formula right here. But f is 9x plus 5. So let's see what that looks like. The limit as n approaches infinity, infinity of the sum from k equals 1 to n, the number of rectangles, we're plugging in x sub uh, i, or x sub k, I should say, into the function. So this bracketed expression gives us a formula that for height of the kth rectangle and we multiply that by 2 over n to get the area and then we add them all together and we've got an approximation for 
the area for n rectangles, but we want to let the number of rectangles approach infinity. Now I'm going to simplify this without writing limit as n approaches infinity every time. So just for the summation part, if I take 9 times 2k over n, I get this. If I distribute the 2 over n, I get this. And then using uh, theorems about summation notation, 36 over n squared is just a constant. You can put that constant out front side and just get the sum from k equals 1 to n of k. And similarly for this term, 1 over n, actually I could put a 10 out here if I wanted to and just have uh, a 1 here. But the idea is that if we add 10 together n times, 10 plus 10 plus 10, that's 10 n. And so if we simplify this, I could distribute this n. Oh, where did this come from? Well, that's a well-known summation notation theorem, summation theorem that you can prove by mathematical induction that the sum from k goes 1 to n of k is actually n times n plus 1 over 2. So if we simplify that, we get picture distributing n times n plus 1 and then dividing each term by n squared. Now we take the limit as n approaches infinity. So I'll put that right here. And as n approaches infinity, this of course is just the number 1, but this term approaches 0 because the denominator has a, it's actually 1 over n, so n approaches infinity, 1 over n approaches 0. And so we've got 18 plus the limit of a constant as n approaches infinity is just that constant, 28. Okay, which matches what we got by the area of the trapezoid. Okay, so there you go. Hope that helped. Uh, you should be able to figure out what each of these answers was by pausing the video. There you go. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, post a comment.